Hey you and welcome back to Sims 4. I'm building the Bella house. Bella from Regency Solitaire, not my dog Bella, um, which reminds me this is the third time I have started this recording because my Bella is making so much noise when I say that name. She's convinced this is all about her. <laughs> and, and while she's cute, there is cute and there's, oh my god, I can't hear myself think. <laughs> so anyway, she's downstairs hanging out with Ascension out. So yeah, let's try this times three. <laughs> so we're working in the ballroom this morning. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, you know, it, the, in the, the ballroom in uh, the game is a, a sort of that light blue. I don't know if they call it Robin's egg blue or baby blue or powder blue or whatever it was, but it was quite popular for a while. As were a lot of the sort of the bright pastel colors. Uh, I think they've got red curtains and stuff like that in, in the game. The Regency period was actually really one of my favorite periods for interior design. I thought it was, I'm no expert on it, but what I see, I like. Okay, it's like art. I don't know. I'm not a, you know, I'm not an art critic, but I know what I like, right? And I like a lot of the Regency stuff. So we're looking for a blue. Um, that might do it. Actually, that's not too dreadfully horrible. And apparently I changed my mind. Actually, that's better. <laughs> okay. So I changed my mind for a good thing. And I thought a nice light floor in here to, you know, really set that theme. Now I'm taking some artistic license in the game. The floor is actually a deep, uh, dark wood floor. And I just think I want this better. I get to do that. Now he said in the game, they've got sort of a red swaggy type thing over the top. I don't actually have anything in the Sims um, that would fit. And I'm sitting here obviously trying some different things going, no, not working for me. Um, it just, the red in general is not working for me, I'll be honest. It looked good in the game, and it does. It looks really nice in, in the drawing, the artwork there, which is oh, extraordinary. But I, um, yeah, I'm not, I, oh, see, now I put this up and I immediately, <laughs> seeing it here for the second time, I'm going, I like this. <laughs> the white and yellow, the blue, that always is a combo that works for me. I love it. And it's, it's working in here too. It's pretty good. So I'm off looking for uh, pictures. There are a, uh, a couple of photographs, or not photographs, because they're paintings in the game that you can buy and uh, as part of a little quest. It's a card game, a solitary card game that has a love story running through it. And there's sort of like little quests and little things that you find along the way. And you get rewards, and then you can buy things for the ballroom. You're actually trying to refurbish the ballroom. It's not a big one, but, it, you know, it's big enough to have a few guests over and, you know, impress the dudes, right? <laughs> so... I, I don't, you know, the two paintings, the male and female, we actually end up buying, uh, I think they're the portraits of her sister, Bella's sister, Charlotte, and her brother, uh, Edward, in the game, I believe they are, so that's my version of it. I think they had a piano forte, I'm not even sure what that is, I know it sounds kind of cool, but I have a piano in the game, so again, with the, the white with the yellow highlights, and when I discovered you could place things on the pianos, I remember that day, I remember I was doing a library when I found out that this was now a thing, I mean, it's been a long time, but um, I was quite excited, I found this very, very cool. <laughs> And of course, you gotta have a candelabra. Yeah, you know, as a kid, I I was very very young. I remember Liberace. You've gotta have, you need a candelabra on the piano. It's a thing. And I'm thinking because this is going to be a party room, a bar might be in order. I'm sure the gentleman would love a nice whiskey soda or something uh, during the party, and uh, perhaps champagne for the ladies. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I probably for the scotch myself but you know it is I was looking for something smaller and and unfortunately with one exception the bars make really poor drinks it's like why would you want to give your guests you know drinks that are hardly drinkable and uh, the one that is different from that just the style didn't seem to fit and I finally ended up just going back to this. It's got the same white square panels that we're seeing along the bottom of the wall and I thought it ties in very nice. It has a nice coordinating effect there so that's what I decided to go for. And then this is just so we can feed people um, but I think I ended up changing my mind about that going no this is a ballroom. We'll, we'll retire to the dining room when it's time to feed people. So I'm pretty sure I removed that. Um, I guess we're about to find out. <clears throat> now, I, I, the dance floors in the game, I thought that would be way cool to have in here, but none of them really, 
you know, they're not, yeah, it's, it's not really a thing. And I mean, and they will dance, they'll dance to music even without a dance floor. So, yeah, I think, you know, we just kind of went, well, it was an idea. It just, that one was the best. And I thought about even putting two of those maybe side by side or something. And yeah, I don't know, not feeling it. It just looks too arbitrary. It, oh, look, there's a square stuck in the middle of the floor. And on a dance floor in a bar, that's exactly what they are. But it didn't seem right for this this particular setting. So going through some sofas here, uh, this is definitely something that could have been used during the Regency period, but I think this one is going to be a better choice. Absolutely. And with the blue in here, uh, oh, look at that. That See, that's perfect. Go, go back, Eva. Go back. Go back. You had it right in the, you know, sometimes I just don't learn. There you go. Perfect. Stop. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> so you need some room for the ladies to sit, you know, and fan themselves when it gets too warm. And of course, we'll be able to go straight out into the conservatory from here. So that that's going to make it nice too. Yeah, see, I did, I did go, mm, yeah, not thinking. Yeah, put it in the dining room. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. And then we can move this over. I've got it centered between those two windows. That looks like a nice balance for it. And uh, I have no idea what I'm doing now. Hmm. Lighting. Oh, yes, with the lighting. Now, one thing with these warm lights, and I don't know if I've left them in here at the by the end of this video but notice the sofa when I even put that light over it looking you know to see if it would fit the sofa went green you get those warm yellow lights and blue of course combined you end up with something kind of a greenish tint and it was really going no 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 I don't want this this is not not a thing this is not where I want to be so and I that one doesn't go higher it just, you can move it around and slide it back and forth, but you can't really get it any higher. And, and then, nope, we'll just go for painting, something big, something classic. Um, <coughs> what I really need, of course, is to find myself a nice ballroom picture to place. And I know just which one I want. I've seen it. I saw it on, uh, what did I see it on recently? Um, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, Franny Fisher, set in, in um, Australia. It is a painting that hangs over her fireplace. And I actually owned a copy of that thing myself once upon a time. And it's like, I need that for The Sims. <laughs> I may have to make it myself if I can't find it. Because <laughs> that would be so cool in here. But that, that painting has got those nice gold tones. It's got some of the pink from the flowers. That would seem like a really good choice. And now a couple of stools. I think a couple of bar stools, certainly. In case the fellas want to sit. Although, you know, during this period of time, manners being what they were, this would probably be a horrendously rude thing to do, to sit there with your back to everybody who's dancing. But, you know, possibly they use the ballroom when they're not having actual balls, right? That's probably a thing. I'm sure the, the gentlemen walk in there after a meal sometime and pour themselves a drink. And, and see this one, too, with the gold, the blue? Look at that. Look at the blue, how it changes color. It's like, no. Look at here. We have, now we have a green sofa. If you look right there at the two blues, it's like totally, totally not going to happen. I don't like it. And changing the colors don't change the colors of the candlelight, unfortunately. So that idea went where so many of them do. Somewhere else. <laughs> it's not for this play. I thought about these. And then, you know, nah. It changes the colors again, and I don't like that. So... I honestly don't remember what I ended up doing. I did these recordings a whole pile in a day. And um, I've got a lot of the house already done by now. So there, we'll pull up those gold tones that go so well with the blue. And uh, look at this. It's coming along. Now there's there's one thing really missing. Because, <clears throat> like, no plant. New plan. Oh, yeah, look, that's cute. That's good. No, apparently I didn't like it. I like it now, but that one's, you know, we've got that same vase in two different places. That's probably a better idea. It's a little more formal that we've, you know, got the, the nice decor, the nice, um, very formal bouquet is going on here. So that's probably a better choice. This one, I, you know, it seemed like a good idea and, and I wasn't feeling it. Like the white is just too dark gray. Um, 
yeah, this is not, I'm not, yeah, this is not working for me either. I didn't, that one's not going to stay. I can tell. <laughs> that is not going to live there anymore. <laughs> but something, something needs to be in that back corner. And look, just that splash, just a touch of green. There, yeah, just that one step toward the conservatory green. That's good. And yeah, I'm going, no, that's not working. I can tell. I'm not liking it. <laughs> tried it bigger and then went whoa no that if smaller would have been very nice little pole back there with some hanging things on it but it's just massive it's for outdoors so inappropriate to the task so I went back to my original sometimes you know you just gotta quit in your head anyway that's it we have a ballroom guys so until I see you next time please hit the like button leave your comments live your life happy build it beautiful and thank you to everyone who makes my life possible bye bye